Día número uno de mi viaje en Colombia. Welcome to a month long trip in a, this amazing country that is a, Colombia. Getting up, getting ready for day four. First day, I'm gonna climb up to 4,000 meters. He said to climb to 3,400, and I was I was out of breath a lot of time. Ah, this day will soon be over. Ah, getting hot to breathe right there, such high altitude. Ah. I only got here I a week ago, so it's uh, getting really high up in a uh, short bit of time. Second big climb today. First one was uh, 1,200 meters of elevation gain. This one is uh, 1,500 meters. Layer up three degrees Celsius up there. And I got a long downhill coming. Day five, uh, already six and a half hours of riding. Uh, I started with a uh, 900 meters climb and a small one of 600 meters. <laughs> the new standards here in Colombia, like, when you have a 600 meters climb, it's a, it's a small one. And the big one to finish is 1200 meters of elevation gain. It's going to take me all the way to uh, 4200 meters, 800 meters to go. 600 meters to the top, 400 meters to go, 200 meters to go, made it to the top, 4,130 meters, uh, as you can see, the view is great, it was really worth it. Benvenido and El Paramo, there's a high alpine tropical vegetation. It is only time in Colombia, typically above uh, 3,600 meters. Looks like some sort of cat, leafy cat. Got wet climbing up to. 3,800 and then going down. Still, uh, as you can see, a lot of mist. Pretty humid there. It's a tough one, it's a tough day. We'll get through this. I haven't seen many cars today. Uh, I think it has to do with the landslides. Good luck driving there if you have four wheels. The going is slow, gravel is super chunky. Uh, the gradient right now is not too bad, but like the last 3K was uh, around 9% average. So, woo -hoo. 
Whew. Looking forward to get to a hotel and get my feet dry. I'm bitching like a little girl. But the truth is, even if it's cold, wet and hard, it's a hell of a ride. There's no place I'd rather be. Got really wet today. I was raining like crazy up there. It was freezing my ass. It's much better now, but I feel like it could start raining at any minute. What's up, people? Today's day. I don't know. I've lost count of the days. I've lost count of the climbs. I've lost count of the hours spent in the rain. It's uh, it's tough, man. Short day today. Uh, fully paved. Wow, incredible. I had no idea it could happen in Boyaca. Should be getting to where I'm supposed to stop pretty soon and it's still early so I might just keep going actually we'll see what happens cheers bye kiss love you hey it's me again took off the jacket decided to keep going I uh, had a half day rest yesterday so felt wrong to call it a day at 4 p.m. Uh, so now I'm uh, climbing again on gravel road quick blind test to catch the biggest fish in your pond you have to be as attractive as possible keep your hair spotless and clean wash it at least once every two weeks once every two weeks and if you see Johnny Football Hero in the hall Tell me you played a great game. Tell me he, you liked his article in the newspaper. I'm the party star. I'm popular. I got my own car. I'm popular. I'm never last picked. I'm the teacher's pin. Popular by Nerd Surf, 1994. Uh, yeah, I wasn't popular in high school. I'll tell you that. Also, how are you gonna keep your hair spotless and clean by washing it every two weeks? Doesn't make any sense. Wash it at least every two days. That's my advice for you. High school boys, high school girls, you have better things to do than watching this video, I know. Damn. friend the sun 30 degrees Celsius yeah you guessed it I'm climbing because I'm always climbing and also because it would be very hard to do these kind of things well going downhill trying to keep up with this dude and Colombians can climb Hola, amigo. San Joaquín. Sí, voy a hacer cansada primero. ¿Dónde vas? Allí al alto. Al alto. Al alto. Y después a San Joaquín. De nuevo a San Joaquín. Este es el ejercicio de hoy. Pretty cool view, huh? Can you spot that little shack over there? Let me tell you one thing. The dude who lives there, he doesn't take no shit from nobody, that's for sure.
Hola chicos y chicas. Day nine. Uh, I'm in the process of going from uh, the eastern range to the western one. If you if you have a look at uh, a map of Colombia, that would be a good time. Can you see the map now? All right. So I started here, which is uh, the Andes. You get the Eastern Range where uh, Bogota is where I started. And now what I'm trying to do is get to the Western one where Medellin is. Uh, with a bit of flatland in between. I'm not there yet. Got a lot of climbing to do. Uh, pretty much like uh, always, yeah. Temperature is 36 degrees Celsius. I'm guessing it's close to 100 Fahrenheit. Do you know the song by Caius? 100 degrees. And rocks. Stay with us on WKRV. WKRV, the sound of the Andes, where the climbing never stops. Never stops. We'll be right back after this short break. Have you ever suffered from saddle sores because your butt sweats too much? Stop sores. With this miracle formula, it will make your butt as smooth as a baby's My favorite type of landscape right here. Lush green tropical rainforest. I don't know why, I just love it. Since I started riding, bike touring my bike in uh, Southeast Asia 12 years ago, I just, uh, I'm just fascinated. I'm treating myself to some flat paved roads today. Call it whatever you want. Cheat day, rest day, I don't care. I felt like I, uh, I deserved taking a break from climbing 3,000 meters on the hellish gravel roads every day. Claire, look okay. out. to Medellin which I believe is actually pronounced Medellin with the double L acting as a continent that's between the J and the Z Medellin Jin, something like that I also have notions of Indonesian Sayatida ena kepala ikan which means I don't like fish heads Je voudrais un croissant avec mon café, s'il vous plaît. Et ouais, on parle français aujourd'hui, ouais. Valek, c'est ma vidéo, je fais ce que je veux. Ça quoi, ça fait deux semaines que je suis en Colombie. J'essaie d'apprendre espagnol, j'essaie de parler à des gens. Mais euh, mon problème souvent, c'est. Tu sais, des vieux, ils ont genre 5 dents et ils commencent à me tchatcher. Donc, quand t'as jamais fait d'espagnol de ta vie, et t'as un vieux colombien qui te parle comme ça. Comment veux-tu Comment veux-tu que je fasse des progrès It's the police that honked at me. They want me to pay attention to the road. I am paying attention to the road. Otherwise I'd be dead. I'm drinking this. It's fake Gatorade and it's not good. Tastes like some kind of medicine. It's the golden hour, man. There's no one there on the road. The light is absolutely magnificent. It's just perfect. It's perfect right now. It's for moments like this that I ride a bike. This is exactly the kind of thing that I'm looking for. These perfect moments that I can only find on my bike. Look at that light. 
That's it. This is where I ride. The end of a long day. All paved until the last 6K. Another 2K and I'll be, I'll be in a hotel. Medellin, here we are. I uh, decided to treat myself to a nice hotel room. I picked the room that had the most pillows. Seven pillows, that seems about right. What's up people? Day 12 or 13, I don't know, you don't care. We are back on gravel and it feels good. It's a beautiful day in Colombia. It is hot and I'm happy to be here. Happy to be on quiet roads with our cars and trucks. I'm happy that I don't get no rain. I've had enough rain. Please, sun, keep on shining. Look at that. Look at that beautiful blue sky. Yeah, that's what we like. That's what we here for. Did you see here? That's another very important plan for Colombia and for me. Coffee. Keeps you happy, keeps you going. Avocados. Like just on the side of the road. You know this one, you can see them there. And if you don't, well, now you will recognize. That's the end of the climb. The end of the 30 kilometer, 1500 meters long climb. Finally. And then I have another thousand meters to climb. It gets getting busy now. de los que saben the rum of those who knows Whew. I'm hoping this can get me a case of free rum oh what you see on the right side of the road that's what they need to make the rum that's sugar cane if you're out of food and water you can just suck on the sugar cane see that's full of juice Stupidly opened up a cut on my knee when I broke the shaky cane with my knife still in my hand. Feel dumb. A few thousand meters of altitude. A bit misty here, a bit cold, had to put on my jacket. as I was making my way to Mariquita and then I came to a bit of a hurdle I have no idea how long it's gonna take it's 5 p.m. and I have another 60k to go wait to have a room and have a shower and be clean to get some food but I couldn't wait La bandeja paisa meat, beans, rice good cycling food Morning folks Today is the day where we tackle one of the longest climbs in the world You might have heard of Letras which is a fully paved uh, 100 kilometers long climb well, today we do dirt letras. The gravel version, it is rough and it goes above 4,000 meters. I got me a camera crew Juan Pablo y Mateo. Superstar, man. We've now reached an altitude of uh, 1,000 meters, close to 700 meters in the bank. Why am I boring you with these numbers? I don't know. Hola amigo. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Está bien y tú? 
Bien, gracias. ¿Dónde vas? Voy hasta el plan de Peñones. ¿Plan de Peñones? Sí, señor. <laughs> Have a good one. What's your name? You too. Omar. Omar, nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Bye. What's your name? Sofian. Oh, Gabriel. Have you lived in the Libano? Four hours in. Uh, it's much colder here. Misty. Uh, I'm used to this now. I just hope I don't get rained on. Il pleut, il mouille. C'est la fête à la grenouille. Ça commence à me casser les couilles. Kilometer 70, altitude 3,400 meters. Here we are, 4,000 meters. Ah, uh, six and a half hours of climbing. That was fun. Type too fun, but fun. The life of a bike packer. Broken roads. Bad weather, rain, mechanical, injury, misery, suffering. Hi guys. Hi. What's your name? Yeah. And you? Do ya? Do ya? And you're from Finland? Yeah. And how far are you going? Today. To Patagonia, yeah? Yeah. And where did you start? Uh, Cartagena. Cartagena? Cartagena to Patagonia. Nice. Yeah. Well, should we get going? We just had a warm up. Done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to miss gravel. But, you know, I feel there's no wasted days. When you're on a bike tour, every day as it's a uh, vacation, you can't have only good days anyway. You gotta take the good and the bad. Okay, I gotta admit, this day gets much better. Secret jungle road. It's steep. Whoa! Quite pretty here, the heart of uh, coffee country, if it means anything, because I feel like it's coffee country pretty much everywhere here. But uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's supposed to be quite famous and quite good here. And I have to say I had a really good coffee this morning. So these palms that you see here, they're called Palma de Sera. It's the national tree of Colombia. See these trees right here? They make the best food in the world. They make chocolate. Well, there's still a long way to go. So we'll get chocolate, but that's where it starts. Ooh. All right, reach the top. Put on the jacket. You ready for the downhill? the road man that last stage between Salento and Ibagué it was like you know the cherry on the cake if you like the kind of cake that punches you in the face constantly <laughs> I feel like I want to do it again but the other way around you know from uh, Ibagué to Salento that's a wrap box is here and the bike is here Flying back to Paris tomorrow. Still here? You can go now, the video is over. Could you mender? Could you mender? Train sorti. Two bangers. Four bangers. Six bangers.